So I had a couple of people ask how I start my silk paintings and how I stretch my silk. So this is where I start with. As you can see, I have a frame here. It's made of a softer wood that is bolted together. It's very simple. I bought it for $10 off of my instructor. And then I use push pins and pieces of polyester fabric to secure my silk. Once I have my fabric laid out and I have all of my polyester strips, my straight pins, I have some uh, safety pins and then push pins that I use to hold the polyester to the frame. I always do the corners the same. You fold your polyester into a right angle. You take one straight pin, and this is a little cumbersome. I promise you it gets easier the more you do it. Your fingers sometimes like just don't wanna work. Take the straight pin over one, one, two, three, four. Just like that. And then I pin there. Next, I go to the opposite corner. And if you're doing two short square pieces like this, then you will join these in the middle. So I've got my piece of polyester here, and I'm not gonna need this much, but it's what I've got right now. So I pin that where I want it, and I pin to the corners. So again, down, up, down, up, and twice should typically be enough. Remember, silk is very, very, very strong. So once I've got that one, now I pin this one. So my silk here is upside down, there we go. So now I pin this corner, same thing. Again, sometimes your fingers just don't wanna work. Down, up, down, up. And now those are done. So now I can use this to help stretch. And then I just go around and I do the same things to all of the edges. So once I get all of my corners done, it'll be straight and then I can pull it tighter. secure let's see it's stretched fairly tightly there's still some wrinkles and stuff in it though so now what you want to do is you want to go around in the center of each side and pin those together thing you can use is safety pins so I've got these and I will pin these two pieces together 
one thing you want to make sure is that the silk doesn't actually touch so like if you're gonna do two scarves which for this setup you need to put on two scarves if you are going to do two scarves you need to secure them but you also need to make sure that they don't touch and I would suggest using colors that are similar when you get close to the corners because the dye can bleed from one scarf to the other through the polyester. So that's better. stretched out yeah it's a little wavy silk will do that and it's okay so you just need to make sure that you know you're centering everything you can already kind of see where the center line is though so it's like right here silk painting is an imperfect art it will never be perfect and it's very very difficult to get anything even close to perfect but that's okay because the closer to perfect it is, the worse it looks. And you have to get over perfectionism when you're doing this kind of artwork because your, ink, your dye will bleed, your resist won't stick or will bubble or spread too far. Something always happens which is why each piece is completely and totally unique.